Yo, 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 yo. What's good, y'all? We got FNA Elf Movie 2. All confirmed details and prediction. Say like it up, sub it to be every new. Let's check it out, man. Let's see. Let's see what, um, the details and the prediction, man. Let's see, man. Let's, let's see what's going on with um, part two of um, Friday Night Freddy's. Oh, Friday Night of Freddy's. Yeah. But, um, yeah, let's just check it out. Hello, Fast Gang. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie is just making tons of money at the box office this weekend, guys. Somewhere out there, both Papa Blum and Freddy Fazbear are twerking on a pile of cash. And I hope they got that intro theme music playing, too. So even putting aside some of the... Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy right there. That's great. Negative reviews for this movie because it is shattering all records for what they expected this movie to do. We are getting a sequel for this film. Now, while there have been mixed reports on confirmations or whatnot, it, without a doubt, a sequel is happening. But it is. Yeah, yeah I mean, they made that much money. Yeah, they making the sequel. Oh, yeah. We're saying no one has officially confirmed it. Sure, there's sources, there's scoopers, and all that, but Blumhouse and Scott have not officially said it yet. I'm thinking Halloween Day would be nice to do it, but if not, it's gonna be happening soon. So here, what I wanted to do is kind of go through a lot of the interviews from director Emma Tammy, along with some of the clues from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie to let you know what to expect in the sequel and already start the hype train going because there's a really good chance by next Halloween. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 will be in that theater. So please feel free to use that comment section as a theory to what you expect, what you want to happen, what you think won't happen, as well as some of the unanswered questions from the first movie that you hope get answered in the sequel. All right, so kicking things off, let's start off with the original comments that director Emma Tammy made three days before the movie came out, talking about this sequel being a reality, just so we know where they're going with it. We'll see how things go this weekend. We're definitely excited to keep making more movies in this world, should we be lucky enough to do that. This one was tied into the first game, and we would probably focus on tying the second one into the second game, and so on and so forth. But anything could happen, we'll have to see. So basically, if it's like... Mmm, tight shit, tight shit. up to her, and Jason Blum does bring back Emma Tammy, which I do think he should. For me personally, you guys know if you saw my reviews, I enjoyed a lot of aspects of the Five Nights of Freddy's movie, but I felt like the big... I mean, yeah, I give it a seven. That's why I said seven out of ten. It, it, it was good though. In its good screenplay, movie. in its handling of the story, yeah, when it came to directing, you know, it, was, it, was, it was a good, decent movie. I thought Emma Tammy did a great job. I know there's some people who say there was no atmosphere in this movie or that it lacked personality. I kind of really dug her directing and what she was able to do with this. Oh, she did the right thing. Oh, she did a good job. Budget. I also saw an article that she was only paid five hundred thousand dollars to direct this movie and five hundred K to to direct it. Oh, wait, Tim was reportedly paid five hundred K up front to direct five hundred damn. Five hundred K. Hollywood terms, that is pennies, guys. Like she really got paid. Yeah, that's all to say that five hundred K. So that's how much I well, I ain't gonna say that. that's not everybody director. That's how much I, you know, some directors get paid. Mm, type shit. It's so. <laughs> that's why I got that strike going on. I see why. Little, but. I see why I got that strike going on. Luckily, she did get a back end deal where she'll get a percentage of the profit, and uh, that's gonna pay her a lot more than five. But I mean, that's up front though, so. Hundred. Yeah, yeah, they probably will get more. Dollars. So hopefully they bring her back for the sequel. But here's. They saying, did that so they get yeah, the rack. They like, alright, we can find the case, and then the movie do good. Yeah, you know, we got you. <laughs> you know, the second movie would most likely take inspiration from FNAF 2. As we're going through this, I also want you guys to keep this in your mind. We have already <laughs> veered off the path from movie lore to the game lore. It's a lot like what Marvel does, where they will call a movie Age of Ultron, Civil War, Infinity War, and whatnot. And the comic storyline in the movie story is very different from one yeah, okay, of course. each other but there is at least some inspiration i mean there. i ain't never played the game so i don't know how to do that <laughs> i mean heck spoilers again as you should know since we're talking about the possibilities of the second movie vanessa being in afton and related to william afton 
that caught a lot of fans by surprise and some still don't like it. So I think when looking at what elements of the second game they're going to adapt, we have to think of mainly big moments, themes, and, and just story points. Because, I mean, to start off, FNAF 2 is a prequel to the first game. I don't think this movie is going to be a prequel. Well, I would really love it to be that and for us to get a much bigger exploration on William Afton and where he came from. I'm willing to put all my money down that this sequel is going to be a continuation of the last movie. Maybe there'll be flashbacks, though, to younger Fred Bear family diner William Afton, which would be the smart way to go with it. This is where I want to bring up a brand new interview of Emma Tammy talking about some of the unanswered questions in this second movie and what we can expect there. Uh, during an interview with a Hollywood reporter, the interviewer asked her this question. Did Aunt Jane actually die? That would obviously be a big problem for Mike and Abby if the person challenging for custody of Abby would have wound up dead in their house. If she survived, uh, it would still be... Oh, uh, yeah. Th yeah, I was wondering, did she die? Yeah, because that, that big... Big motherfucker came in the house and shit. Yeah, they ain't say nothing about that. They just, they just went, they just throw that shit in the trash. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that she died in the house. I forgot about that. Like, did she die? Problem. Although maybe she's so traumatized by what happened that she dropped her claim and deceitful plan altogether. Where the director Emma Tammy responded, "We have some loose ends that I think they're going to have to come back in the sequel to be tied up." That right there kind of blew my mind, because if you were to ask me, I would say Aunt Jane is dead. She died in that. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, I saw that big Fred, Fred what's his name, Freddy Bear. I'm like, like they ain't, they ain't gonna show her that dead and shit. They just, <laughs> they just moved on to another, another scene. That living room, and they either stuffed her body in one of the. Oh, I ain't gonna see that part. Oh yeah, yeah, she did die. Her shoes on the floor, she on the ground. Oh yeah, she died. Yeah, he killed her animatronics or golden freddy evaporated with her the way golden freddy can just teleport in this movie but it's the unanswered yeah yeah he did tell the boy because i don't know how how the boy went to the house <laughs> nah this is some shit that yeah if i give it a seven it's cool though it's a good questions movie, that they want to tie up in the sequel and well Anjay will be one of them i think golden freddy is an unanswered question that definitely needs elaborating after doing my review and talking spoilers with that movie i saw so many people confused about the difference between freddy and golden freddy just because the movie did not touch upon it at all there was oh, wait it's different freddy's i ain't not know that people who thought the entire movie the gold hair child was regular freddy the entire time and that's what i thought the whole time too i don't, I don't play the game scene in the movie. I ain't know what's going on. Where he says, not Freddy. And with Golden Freddy showing up, taking a cab, dropping off Abby and disappearing, uh, there's a lot to be desired there. So an elaboration on Golden Freddy and what was up with him, I think could be something. As well as the Ella slash Circus Baby animatronic spring lock that was in the movie, that could heavily hint to the animatronics we're about to see in this next film. Because again, if it's going to take inspiration from the second game, that means these boys are going to look really different and they're going to be the toy versions. Toy Bonnie, Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, and, and Toy Foxy. Those animatronics made by the Jim Henson Company are going to be so fascinating to me because I thought the puppet work they did for this movie looked really cool now seeing what they're gonna look like kind of plastic shiny that's gonna be difficult but if you look at the ella doll there's a real argument to be made that has that same kind of toy design the other big element from the second five nights of freddy's mm. game is the introduction of the puppet which just feels like a giant confirmation is going to be part of this second movie for a couple of reasons fans already pointed out how at the end credit scene of the five nights of freddy's movie there's an audio message of something spelling out the words come find me along with the grandfather clock music that is synonymous with the puppet so i feel like the marionette has to be included in this second movie and i do agree with people that say it's going to be garrett taking over that animatronic and this will kind of be our base oh garrett oh this is his brother this is for the second film mike is still going to be obsessed with somehow connecting with his brother and if he's got to go out there and find him that puts him in danger of william afton coming back as spring trap and all of that but I guess it's worth noting that director Emma Tammy also addressed this with the interviewer asking her if Garrett's ghost body wasn't in any of the animatronics, right? I suppose you would have a moment between him and Mike if he was. Her responding, I feel like that could be a nice thing for the fan base to mull over. I'd love not to shut down any theory. So honestly, for all we know, mm. Garrett could maybe be alive. My mind is just back and forth on how you make it make sense and where you bring in the toy versions of the animatronics. The only thing I can think about, which would be a giant change in keeping in forward with the sequel. Now streaming on Hulu. I love you! What are they doing letting us in a place this nice? <laughs> 
is someone tries to reopen the restaurant. You know, now that William Afton is technically dead, gone, he's the owner that's been keeping that building there and withered, once he disappears and the owner is no longer there to, I guess, stop the city from taking down this building, I could see someone else coming in and just wanting to refurbish the place and open up the new restaurant. And I feel like that's how they could explain it. Somebody uh, reopens the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria unaware of some of the sinister things lurking in these closets with William Afton in the spring trap suit. But I feel like that would be the great way to bring in the toy animatronics and give them an updated look. Somebody trying to reopen Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, not really oh, yeah. what they're doing here. And and this time it. around, I would also want the animatronics to actually be the bad guys. There's a lot of mixed hate to a particular scene in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie where the animatronics are acting cuddly, happy, building a fort, looking up at the sky. In the second Five Nights at Freddy's game, they play a lot more into the technological advancement of the animatronics where they have like facial recognition and they can identify an adult and they get aggressive towards them to the point that sometimes you as a player have to wear a mask to be able to hide your face from the animatronics i feel like for this sequel they should go that route and not really make it the spirit children inside the animatronics and maybe just more evil robots that william afton can then control but again that's just me really heavily theorizing other big things that we can kind of confirm that'll for sure be happening markiplier cameo we know now that markiplier was supposed to play the opening security guard that gets taken down in the movie but because right. of scheduling conflicts that didn't happen and scott cawthon did mention the king of fnaf markiplier should be included somewhere in the next couple of movies but i think it's still up in the air whether it should be a small cameo or a big role i'm gonna leave that for you to decide but markiplier making an appearance in the movie that's definitely gonna happen unless he makes iron lung 2 then uh, i guess we're all screwed and the other thing that is definitely being talked about as a thing that's gotta be answered that what? The, i guess we're all screwed and the other thing that that's definitely gonna happen unless he makes iron lung 2 then uh, i guess we're all screwed and the other thing that is definitely being talked about as a thing that's got to be answered in the second five nights of freddy's movie is the connection mike and abby have to william afton people were quick to point out that the movie takes place in minnesota but garrett mike's brother was taken in nebraska which is quite a drive away and would be really odd for william afton to go out of his state to kidnap a random kid and then just do the rest of his bidding in minnesota this has led a lot of people to believe that we're going to find doubt that Mike's parents are going to represent the Emilies in the FNAF lore. The partner that William Afton had and helped him build a lot of the animatronic puppets and the pizzeria in the games, I feel like that has to be the connection between them and a why William Afton would be connected mm. to Mike and Abby. It can't be he was just randomly in Nebraska also, and I feel like that would just tie things all so much more better together. But really, the possibilities are endless, and for now, this is all we know. There's a lot of other crazier theories we could go. It's just not fully official information but this stuff here that I talked about felt the most realistic to what could happen. I mean, I saw one theory out there that Vanessa's going to wake up from her coma and become Vanny, and I was like, that's crazy, but I wouldn't put it past them. Let me know your guys' opinions for you expect to see I Five Nights at Freddy's 2, because it is going to happen, and uh, who knows, you might have your theories be proven right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, 3C Films, or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. Man, anyway, like it up, sub the bell. Let me know what y'all think on y'all prediction, man. Let me know in the comment below. And, uh, yeah, I peace.